Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Previously, in this video, I showcased how to use Tasker to display your rewards, uh, loyalty cards, etc, etc. These would appear in the shop, uh, when you're in the shop, ready for you to use. So, if you just stumble across this tutorial, go and see the uh, quick showcase there and then come back to this video. Now, this video is going to be the tutorial about it and I previously wrote one which was 2500 words and it was too complicated and too long. So I sat down and uh, read it again. Everything works all right. I managed to shorten it up a bit. So now I'm ready to uh, get you through the tutorial part. And as usual, if you uh, if the video is too quick for you uh, or, or you would like to read and get the task descriptions, etc., etc., just the links provided to the written tutorial as well. So you can uh, click on that and follow the written guide. Uh, you will also find the files to download there and I'll put uh, obviously links in the descriptions. So yeah, you ready? I'm ready. So let's get started. Before we start the project, so let's take a look at the files. So I've put them in a few folders separating from the groups. So I have barcodes in one folder uh, with another subfolder uh, containing both QR and the normal barcode version. And I have a folder for all the shopping logos. They are in 221 format, so 1000 pixels by uh, 500 pixels each. And lastly, I've got another folder with uh, uh, some random icons, which I'm gonna use for all the notification and stuff like that from material design and app. To generate the barcodes itself, I'm using barcode generator app. I'll link it in the description for you. Simply open the app, scan the barcode of your choice, and you'll be presented with the file name, which is the barcode number itself. And then you can save it on your drive or on your storage somewhere. You can use it either as a PNG or JPEG. It's up to you. Both are working just fine. With the QR codes, you have to edit them. So I'm just going to share uh, my file with a Snapseed. Snapseed is a picture editor available uh, from and the Google, and you can use it to modify your QR codes. What you have to do after ex exporting to uh, Snapseed is to use edit and then expand option. Make sure you select a white expand option rather than smart to generate white background and expand it three times. So each time you have to save it and expand it again. This way you will generate the padding sufficient to fit perfectly within the auto notification notification. I'll start the tutorial with creating the arrays. This is where the, all the data is stored. So shopping array task has to be uh, created and uh, generated once while run runs and it'll generate seven different arrays. They contain different values. We have to remember is that uh, to put the same values in the same positions in the array. So all the Tesco data is put on the first position in my example across all seven arrays. I also spelled uh, the shops without any special uh, letters or characters, so it would help me with regex and regex and uh, getting into uh, searches. So we have seven different arrays. First has names all the shops without special characters. Then you have path to the JPEG or PNG file for each barcode, and uh, then we have uh, the barcode itself, the number generated by a barcode. You can assign that uh, to be as an ID or something that's going to be used to, to copy stuff. And then we have a QR equivalent. So if your barcode has a QR version, the code is um, stored. Then we have an array that checks for that, whether the um, barcode has alternative QR version. And then we have a path to this QR barcode. So that's gonna be a path to the file itself. And then lastly, a uh, path to the shop icons uh, files, the picture files. Another task that needs to be run only once is create a tile. Once the auto notification tile is set, then no longer we need that task at all. And what it does, it triggers the dialogue with all the cards. So for all the cases when you want to run it manually. You can trigger this in any other way if you wish, it's up to you. However, you have to remember that a command shop underscore show dialog has to be issued by auto notification for this to work, as that's gonna be used in a profile. Speaking about the profiles, shop button actions, response to auto notification, shop button prefix to a command. And that basically does all the different actions available. The first notification is a very short notification that pops out each time we're at some shopping center and it's used to trigger the dialogue displayed earlier on. 
Next up, there is there are two notifications, one for barcode and one for QR counterpart of this barcode with respective buttons. So don't set it up just yet, we're gonna copy and paste them from a different source. Then we have two set clipboard actions that set the clipboards to a specific number. It's either coming from the QR code or from a barcode, depending on which notification has been actioned. Lastly, before we jump into the Auto Tools web screen, we're gonna check out the Auto Notification Cancel and Status Bar. They're being used to cancel the notification on the first action and pull up the st uh, status bar again. Let's take a look at the Auto Tools web screen. This is the dialog that displays all the reward and loyalty cards available. Feel free to modify everything else, but pay attention to the following. There are two conditions, if uh, auto notification command or auto, out, auto apps command, which needs to uh, be set to show dialogues for this uh, dialogue to appear on your screen. Now let's go into the config. Um, everything else not shown can be modified, so close looking command I've selected here. But those changes in here, I'll show you which one you have to set the way I did. So sticking with uh, uh, cards, card images is where the path to images go. So all the Tesco and uh, you know the, those visible on the screen files go. Uh, each path is stored and copy and pasted here. So the car, actual cards are being generated based on these paths. Now each time you press on it, a prefix to a command is being issued and the prefix starts with shopping cards and then appropriate command is used. So for if you press Tesco, you've got Tesco command. If you press Morrison, you've got Morrison's, etc, etc. Those are presets, so they don't draw from any arrays. Let's quickly take a look at the profiles. We know that shop buttons, so all activities, will trigger when the command from auto notification is shop button and then uh, it depends really on the command passed over all the notification that I've shown you before are gonna trigger. Now I've got another uh, profile here that is linked to the same action and this is shop show barcode. All those three, shop show barcode, uh, near shop title and near shop text will trigger the same action which is show shopping barcode because Google notifications can show the shop names in a title and in the text of the message, we have to create two different profiles for this near shop title and near shop text. Both will uh, trigger the same task to show our barcode in a notification. In both triggers, I'm checking the regex match against the shop names in both notification and auto notification text and auto notification title. I'm also making sure uh, my trigger only responds to notifications uh, issued by the Google app. Be sure you look up the uh, spelling of the um, shops to make sure it's spelled correctly. So use Google Maps for that as this is how they're gonna be spelled. There is one more type notifications that we're gonna respond to, which contains a shopping in the name or retail in the name. And this is to create this notification issued earlier on in our first uh, shop button task. This notification triggers uh, when the title is set either to retail or shopping and it performs one of our actions, the first auto notification. So whether iron text equals shopping or iron title equals retail shopping regular max, actually the first condition isn't really needed. So we're just gonna delete this and we're gonna stick it with uh, one simple match. And the notification, uh, you can create really whatever you want. Uh, just in the bottom, uh, make sure you will pass the specific command, which is show button. Uh, as a prefix and then the command's gonna be show dialog. Instead of creating multiple tasks, I'm trying to pass all the buttons and action tasks to a single task. This is why uh, all of the actions, they start with shop underscore button. One more thing, uh, just create ID for this notification. I've used shop notification and this is the same ID I've used later on to cancel this notification when we click on it. As you remember, in shop buttons actions, the last two actions were auto notification cancel and status bar pull up. So uh, this way the notification get canceled and then our auto tools web screen uh, with all the cards is being displayed. I think we are ready now to get to the main task, which is uh, show uh, barcode. 
So uh, this task contains a few things, but firstly we're going to focus on the notifications. So these are two notifications, one for the notification that has no different barcodes and one for notification that has a QR version of the barcode. Both notifications are actually the same. The only difference are the buttons uh, and the commands attached to the buttons that are being displayed. So I'm going to go over it in a, uh, with you in a second. Anything other than discussed on the um, screen can be set by you. Take a look at the following items because the difference is only in the buttons and two notifications are the same. I'm using uh, for title the RA shop names, so that's the, one of the arrays. In icon, I'm using shop icon and then shop picture is the index, I'll explain that in a second. Uh, then title expanded, uh, it's exactly the same. In a picture, I'm using shopping path array. Uh, and then the buttons are set manually, so I'm uh, in, on the notification that has uh, um, buttons to show QR, I'm sending a command to show QR version, and on the notification that has um, QR code, I'm sending a uh, command to display the other one. And it's similar for the, for the copy barcode commands. How do I know which barcode and which shop name, uh, etc., to display on my notification? Uh, this is done thanks to the uh, search option. I can use regex search uh, and search each element of the array uh, to find the value I need. And we do that in the following way. I'm searching in this example for a variable and I'm setting it to shop picture. I'm searching through shop names array and I'm looking for a number, which is hashtag in that, uh, in that case. So it will return a position, the index of the array, that will match the regex, which is stored in AACOM, so auto apps command. And then that number, it's gonna be defined, let's say if that was a test score, my number would be one. And I'm gonna check what value does it have in the QR uh, array. Therefore, is the has QR equals zero, it will display the first notification without QR code and uh, buttons and otherwise it will display second one with the QR code options. In a similar fashion, when our notification trigger it comes from Google, first we need to check which uh, location it was from. So I'm using the uh, few statements in here to check a and title a and text and see if my store name was present in there and if the store name was present in there then I know uh, what is my shop uh, location so I set the shop location to one of the names from the first array which was shop names then I'm gonna check the shop names array to see uh, on which position uh, was the shop in a question so if that was a Tesco it's gonna be one if Morrison's gonna be two etc and then I'm gonna uh, assign the has QR again if you notice those are exactly the same as the other if conditions so the only difference is one uses auto apps command and one uses the shop location that we've preset using and title we are still missing two notifications in our shop button. These are used to switch between QR and barcode notifications. So copy the uh, last two uh, notifications from the show um, barcode and paste them into shop buttons. All you have to do is just modify them slightly because uh, one has to have buttons pointing you to QR and one has to have buttons pointing you to barcode. And that's basically uh, the only difference. So if you notice in my setup, um, the one that has a barcode on has buttons to po point you towards QR, and the one that has a QR code, it has a buttons to point you to the uh, barcode version. Right, so we went through this. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It wasn't too complicated and I managed to explain everything. As I said at the beginning, if you want to read about the tutorial instead, there are links at the card somewhere in here for you to read. And thank you so much as usual for watching. Follow me on social media if you want to get notified instantly about uh, new updates, videos and new posts. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care until then. Um, I displayed how to use a rewardity. Rarity, rarity. <sighs> to create.